Solzheim is an algal biotechnology company, which means we take microalgae, which are the planet's original oil producers, and produced a lot of the oil uh, that's uh, coming out of the ground today. In fact, last time you filled up your car, it came from a barrel of oil, which probably came from algae 10 million years ago. And our technology is to take that algae and to deploy it in uh, pre-existing industrial uh, production technology to, to produce oil in real time in just a few days. So what's up in here? So we're uh, we're driving a Ford F450 heavy duty uh, diesel truck, uh, American built on 100% uh, algal biodiesel, uh, Sola diesel it's called, made by a company called Solazarm. And this car was generously donated by Biodiesel University at the University of Maryland and my friend Dan here. Um, and uh, it's the first of its kind. We're out here running on 100% algal biodiesel. And wow, I gotta say it's neat. It really is. It's fantastic technology. These guys have come up with uh, with one of the most exciting ways to make biodiesel. Uh, very, very innovative. I think it's going to be a big winner. And uh, demonstrating it here in this, uh, this large but very interesting vehicle, it's been going great. It's so smooth, quiet, uh, plenty of power. So we're going to take a little spin around the, uh, around the block here. It was really neat that we were driving a heavy-duty truck on B100 algal biodiesel. It hadn't been done. Uh, it was something we'd wanted to do for a while, and we figured that if we were going to come to the Department of Defense's DESC Worldwide Energy Conference, uh, it would make a lot of sense to do that bringing a heavy, uh, heavy truck because a lot of what military uses is even heavier than that, and some much heavier, and running off diesel fuel. And it was exciting for us to show people that this technology is actually here today. Uh, a lot of people think about algae as a source of biofuel and they think, you know, 5, 10, 15 years, it's the future, it's exciting, but the truth is that we drove this morning here on B100 algal biodiesel and uh, we're, we're, we're scaling it up and commercializing the technology. It's a beautiful orange color a little bit like carrot juice, in fact. Any gallon of fuel that you're producing here, you're not importing from the Middle East, and, and that matters. And uh, it matters a lot. And um, a, another part of our technology is not just avoiding imports from unstable regions of the world where our dollars are going to uh, pay for the people who are fighting against us, um, but we're also looking at uh, distributed production, which means that, you know, more locally you can produce the material where it's used, you can reduce your transportation costs, you can use whatever uh, carbon source is most environmentally uh, advantageous and most economically secure, um, and you can produce it around the world in, in discrete locations, and we think that that's going to be an important piece to, uh, to the uh, renewable energy puzzle as well. One of the missions of Biodiesel University is to uh, educate and to explain to people how uh, renewable and sustainable energy and sustainable living um, ties together with technology. And, and so from my perspective, I spend a lot of my time recruiting. And I use those dollars, which come from venture capital and from a variety of things, I use those dollars to recruit the best and the brightest. And one of the things I'd love to say a lot of the time is to reach out to the, to the, to the folks uh, anywhere from, you know, five years old through, through, you know, 50, but particularly people who are in uh, a period of their lives where they're, where, where they're involved actively in education or they're about to make major educational decisions, reach out and say, hey, this is important. This matters. You're smart. You can really help make a difference, and we need more people like you. We need molecular biologists. We need geneticists. We need 
chemical engineers, we need process development people, we need applications people who can look at the analytical qualities of our fuels and who can test them in engines. And, and, and so, you know, one of our issues is getting a really vibrant pipeline of good job candidates. And one of the things we really want to do, and, and, and we really feel uh, very strongly about supporting Biodiesel University, because this is the major thing. If I have to go outside of this country uh, to do all of my recruiting, it's, it's a lot harder for me. It's more expensive. And those are, frankly, jobs also that I like to give to Americans where I can. And, uh, and so we'd like to see a lot more people get actively engaged uh, at these young ages and realize they can make a difference. They can choose that career. They can take whatever's in their brain and they can figure out how to apply it to make the world a cleaner place and provide the next generation of energy uh, for the planet because we're going to need it.